Hey guys, got something a little bit different for you today, a little bit strange, but hopefully a little bit of fun as well. Elliot and I have decided, after we discovered a Super 8 app on the iPhone, to try and recreate the entire teaser trailer for Super 8 using the Super 8 app and miniature model things. Just like this. Just thought it'd be a bit of fun, really. We've been watching all these interviews with Spielberg and J.J. Abrams, and they're talking about how much fun they used to have making little movies. And we used to make little movies, but we've all got serious recently. So we thought, what the hell, let's make a little film and have a bit of fun. We're going to see how well we can do it. We're hopefully going to upload a little bit of a comparison video at the end of it to show the original versus the new one. And um, let's, see, let's see how much we can really do with, you know, a few bits and bobs. Let's see what we can do. Xander and I have recently downloaded onto our iPhone uh, the Super 8 app that has been developed by the film company and it basically allows you to kind of simulate filming Super 8 home movies. Now obviously we don't have a massive train that we can wreck uh, but we do have a train set. And what we've got here is we've got our, we've obviously got our US Air Force train that's carrying the uh, suspicious content and we've got our level crossing here which is made of paintbrushes and LEDs. It doesn't look much uh, you know, obviously now you know it's LEDs and paintbrushes, but when you view it, you know, on camera, as it were, um, things start to kind of look a bit more realistic and you can really uh, go to town with things. So this is the shot we're trying to recreate. Uh, this is the, uh, obviously the level crossing shot where um, the car comes into the back of the back of frame. And that's what we're, that's what we're trying to do at the moment. Okay, so uh, in the next shot I'm about to play the part of the car that comes skidding around the corner. Elle's just told you all about the level crossing, so I'm the car. What have I got? I've got this little torch here with two little LEDs. Um, and I'm going to be wearing... Um, I've got a sleeve on here to try and hide my arm in the darkness and a, a nice glove with a hole in the top. I'm not sure why, but it has. You might notice here we've got some nice little streaks that are a bit similar to J.J. Abrams' favourite lens flares uh, and we're shooting this on the iPhone so how did we get those? Well simply put um, we just swipe our finger in front of the camera lens and the grease from your finger gives a bit of a smudge and a smear and it gives you the streak I think Elle's demonstrating now kind of gives you a good little effect um, so that will work nicely for this especially as it's a JJ Abrams film we know he likes his lens flares so this may all seem like a lot of fun and uh, you know we're playing with models and making films and stuff but there's actually quite a serious benefit to doing this. One thing that a lot of filmmakers in the past have done and what we have done and a lot of people do is just copy sequences from your favourite film. If you don't have you know lots of friends that you can call upon and actors one thing you can do is use models. Um, you know, if it's an action sequence, you can have trains, you can have cars, you can crash them into each other, and uh, you can just do it all in miniature. And it's effectively the same as doing it all life size. You've got a small camera, you've got small cars. It doesn't make much of a difference. But and the and actually how it turns out doesn't matter either. You know, obviously it's not going to look the same as the big film uh, version. But that's not the point. The point is you're creating a sequence. You're telling a story through pictures and uh, the more experience you can get with doing that, the better you are going to get at doing it. Uh, you know, if you look here, this is just a simple, I don't know what it looks like from where you are, but it doesn't look very much from where I am. We've got a shirt here, which is just like a khaki coloured shirt, which is giving us our kind of terrain and some under here. So I don't know whether any of you remember what this is. This is called a VHS. It's a tape. Remember these? I, don't, oh, I can't even... Forgotten how to get it out of the box. That's how long it has been <laughs> since I've seen one of these things. It's not coming out. Anyway, yeah, one of those. Look. Remember that? Well, we've got a load of these lying around. So we're using these to put under our shirt to give us a bit of terrain in the background. And, you know, we've got a few plant-looking things and a bit of gravel and a, looks like a bit of a church and um, or something. And we've got our trains. And the way you light it, you know, if we were to get the big lights on this, uh, you'd see that it actually doesn't look like anything at all. Look, pretty rubbish to be honest. But like all things in movies, it's all an illusion. And how you light something 
you can obscure a lot of detail and hide stuff from the audience and things look much better. And here, for instance, we wanted a bit of side light as if there was flames going on over here or something. So I've got the spotlight on my iPhone uh, and put some yellow orange gel over it, it's filming gel, but if you don't have gel you can use coloured tracing paper or even sweet wrappers, you know, stuff like that and you can colour the light and we just put that off to the side here slightly out of shot and then it's casting these or this orange hue, you know, this orange light across the scene so we've got our blue backlight, that's like moonlight, we've got our orange firelight and that's pretty much it, I'm babbling on a bit here, but um, the moral of the story is just get out there and make some stories. Just films are basically little sequences cut together, stories told through pictures, and you don't need a million dollar budget to do that. Okay, so uh, we're just on the final bit of the model shoot, and uh, we've come to the titles, um, and we've come up with this nice little simple solution. <laughs> we're going low tech on this one. A bit of wire and a bit of paper against a black backdrop. Producer Steven Spielberg, the movie voice. But anyway, um, yeah, we've come towards the end now. We've got a bit of a, a bit of a torch that's giving us the, the flares, like we talked before, the anamorphic lens flares. Like that for the titles. I think it's going to work pretty well. It's taken a lot longer than we had anticipated. We, you know, a simple brief of let's have a bit of fun, you know, making a bit of a, a bit of a homage to the Super 8 movie um, has turned into a bit of an epic, but. I hope you enjoyed the results. We're going to put it up and uh, let us know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.